Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to delete browser history and cookies and all the things that your internet web browser stores for you um, to make it easy for you to use so you don't have to constantly type in forms to remember passwords and all that other stuff that uh, we actually take for granted. But what we want to do is we can go ahead and click on tools and we could, do, we could just click on browser history and that's just one thing. Uh, but we're actually going to go down to where it says internet options and under internet options we're going to go to delete and when we hit delete it brings up this box delete browser history our temporary internet files these are just files that are basically stored for uh, recalling the images faster when we view a page um, certain banners things that speed it up when you want to go to common sites that you frequently visit um, cookies there you go that's the one delete cookies so this is where the actual information is stored in cookies when you visit a website a website will actually give you a cookie and it'll store certain information on there that it needs to know um, and you're actually giving that way you know certain information about your web browser and your computer and, and a few other things so um, history history is just storing all the information of all the web pages that you've been to and then form data, well, just like it sounds, uh, all the information you type into a, a form when you fill out something online, uh, when you create a username and password, uh, that's part of a form. Um, but they actually have here, when, when you get a pop-up that says, would you like to remember this username and password, and you click yes, well, this is where you delete it. Um, it's really good to actually just clean this out all the time. Um, I wouldn't be lazy and and just keep it all it'll it'll add up it'll get real big and bulky um, not something you want to do best thing to do is have make a good habit of writing things down and keep it in a safe place um, I even wouldn't write everything down on one piece of paper and, and keep it in just one place um, you know try to remember everything if you can and make sure you don't use all the same information don't use the same username and passwords um, make them make them something that you can remember um, so what we're going to do here is, in this case, I'm going to delete all. And let's see, also delete files and settings stored by add-ons. We'll go into the add-ons as well. Um, I don't really use any add-ons with uh, Internet Explorer. I don't use it that much. Yes. And depending on how much you use it, uh, Internet Explorer that is, um, it could take a long time. For me, it just went really quick. Um, I only... Like I said, I barely use it. Um, I do use it for a lot of other things, but what I do is when, let's go back and let's click cancel. Let's go back to tools and then options. And we clicked on delete and then it brought back that screen. So I'm going to just close that and go back to where it says settings. In settings, this is where it actually gives you the option to say, do we automatically want to clean this out a certain amount of you know minute, you know days or, or how do we want to do this and how much space do we want to let the computer use to store all that information well I don't let it store too much um, but I also set the days at the bottom here to just one when I'm using it it can store the information for that day and um, zero to you know zero is good at, if you really want to just have everything deleted and the history and this is just the history though um, of the pages you have visited so I do it for one because for me one's good enough again try to make good habits of remembering where you go um, don't rely on the information because what if you're at another computer that's it so that's how you delete history and cookies